and we are live. Welcome to Unicorn Chef. I'm Mike Ellis. Bryson is away. He's driving, uh, so he's on the road. He can't make it. Um, he sends his greetings, and he's thankful that I'm here, and I'm a much better cook than he is. So uh, no, all the best to Bryson. Today, we have my sister, Trudy Lamontagne. I grew up with her as Trudy Ellis, but that's just not the case anymore, because my favorite brother-in-law took her. My only brother-in-law, technically. Um, so yeah, what I'd like you guys all to do from a charity perspective is support your local SPCA. Reach out, reach out to your local areas. Pet a dog, pet a cat, walk a dog, walk a cat. If you can't donate money, just maybe donate some time. We need them, they need us. So with that, Trudy, what charity are you representing? So I am in Canada. So the charity that I chose is Sick Kids Hospital, the hospital for sick children in Toronto. They are fundraising to build a brand new facility, a brand new hospital to service kids in need. So uh, you can go on to sickkids.ca and be a monthly donor or a one-time donor and uh, make a contribution. That's wonderful. Now, more importantly than that, what are you drinking? I'm all class up in here with my rosé out the box. <laughs> can uh, can you show everybody the bottle that that came from? Is you want to see the bottle? Yeah, is that, I'll see the bottle. I'll buy in bulk. Oh. You know, it's a uh, it's a pandemic, so we saw all crate. and it's not even in the fridge. That's how desperate I was today. I'm drinking warm rosé. It's actually a it's a family trait. <laughs> warm wine out of cardboard so much much like you the the black box um, most people aren't aware but it has won 70 gold medals I think two of those gold medals are for um, cardboard quality but a gold medal is a gold medal so it really does count so what are you making today we're making homemade raviolis with a little bit of a shortcut using wonton wrappers because I'm not coming home from a day at work to make pasta. Homemade. So I, I have uh, to say, hmm. it took me forever to find wonton wrappers. Because you didn't know where to look. No, I had to look in the vegan section. I had no idea there was a vegan section. Full of all sorts of magical things that I will never eat. Fair. That's what she said. Sorry, what? Um, that being yeah. said, this, this is pretty much vegetarian, this thing, come to think of it. Somebody says nice Fibonacci patter. Nice what? Fibonacci patter. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Hmm. All right. So what is this feeling? I have all sorts of cheeses. Sweet. So the best thing about doing this is you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to do the way I do it and show you, but okay. um, I've got some picky eaters. You can use meat if you want to. You can, I know I've got a friend who does it veal. Um, so me, basic. Where's my bowl here? All right. So we have got some cottage cheese straight from the tub. What kind? Just Trey Stella. Ricotta? Yeah, just traditional ricotta. Cool. It's not light, it's not creamy, it's just the regular ricotta. Okay. And then we're gonna throw that whole thing in a bowl. The whole thing, okay. Whole thing. This might leave you some extra, but you know what? You throw this in an omelet in the morning and it's awesome. I actually still have some in my freezer. Uh, mozzarella, I took the shortcut and got the shredded stuff. Okay. I'm going to grate the Parmesan. So I cheated a little bit with the mozzarella, but I'm going to grate up some Parmesan. So that I'm going to put in just about, a, I don't know, half a cup or so. I'm just going to sort of eyeball it. About a half a cup of that. Okay. Now I'm all the way over here, Shannon, but I read your note and she is not prettier than me. How dare you? Oh, thank you. I spent all day in hair and makeup. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> So I'm doing ricotta, cream cheese, and then this Asiago mixture stuff. Okay. Mm. That'd be good. Do you like my favorite is butternut squash ravioli? Okay. I've not tried, maybe I'll do that in the fall. But uh, 
All right, we're going to open this Parmesan cheese and I'm going to risk. Actually, I'm going to get scissors. So how many raviolis do you kind of make during this or like for this mixture? Like, is there a goal? Like so five per get, person, ten per person? Out of this package of wontons, okay. you'll get 28 raviolis. If you double up, so there's, yeah, 28. So, yeah. So if you want to fold them differently, like toward ladies or something, you'll get more noodles in them or more quantity out of it. But out of this, this package, we're going to get about 28 wontons or 28 raviolis. Can you be more 20 wontons? Are we are we making wontons or raviolis? Like, why is this hard for you? I don't know. <laughs> it just is. All right, cheese grater. We're going to grate a bit of Parmesan. So I'm going to put about a half a cup of Parmesan in there, and then I'm going to grate a little extra just to put on top after it's done. Okay. Okay. Honestly, the least amount of time I have to spend with a cheese grater, the better. They are not my friends. That's Somebody once told me that Parmesan cheese is like Italian cocaine. I wouldn't want to snort it though. I wouldn't want to snort cocaine. <laughs> there, Cocaine's a lot of fun, like 15, 20 minutes at a time. From what I heard. <laughs> I was I was the good child, Trudy, not the bad child. Really? I, I, seem, I seem to remember you being the troublesome one, not me. I think your memories are a little skewed. Well, it's from all the cocaine. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Nicholas, Nicholas, thank you, buddy. The shirt, the shirt we actually got online for the Christmas, for my family Christmas picture. So my kid has a onesie. Judy's nephew, Sean. And, oh, my baby. Yeah, little man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shen's gonna grate me. That's not very nice. Not very nice. You what? Shen says she's gonna grate me. Not very nice. Sweet. So, do you season this mixture at all, or do you just let it go? Yeah, we're gonna put some salt and pepper in there. You can throw some nutmeg in there if you're so inclined. I don't because I have picky eaters here, so you can do whatever you want. You can throw some garlic in there if you want. Some salt. Okay, I think me and this cheese grater are done with each other. You fighting with it? No, we just. There's some products in the kitchen that people you know you just don't like to do, and grated cheese is one for me. I grated a bunch, and I'm going to throw some in there. So, is this like a quick dinner for you, or is this a production dinner for you? This is a production dinner, so making the raviolis themselves is the most time-consuming part, but I mean, the good thing is they only take three minutes to cook. Yeah. So, it's not really any different than making a normal dinner, it's just longer prep time, shorter cook time. I'm going to put some spinach in mine. So I've got frozen spinach that I've been thawing in the fridge. Should I be looking like this? Exactly like that. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Would you say that this dinner is the same as the chicken fricassee you made when we were kids or different? Really? I was 12. Let it go. Okay. I tried to food poison my family. So, so everybody's well. aware. <clears throat> when we were kids, my sister used to, we'd get home from school. We were very latchkey kids. Mm -hmm. That's not a criticism. It's just how it was. But we get home and Trudy be like, oh, I'm going to make dinner. So she breaks out the recipe book and she's going to make chicken fricassee. So she gets all this chicken fricassee stuff going and she cooks it all, you know, front to back. <clears throat> Mom and dad come home from work. We all sit down, we eat. And it was like getting punched in the face with a lemon. Just the most ridiculous um, sucker punching. Oh, my God. So we're all like, oh, my, like she's trying to kill us. WTF is going on. So it turns out while she was making the recipe for chicken fricassee, the page ruffled over or turned over to lemon chicken. So we had chicken lemon fricassee. We did. Chicken lemon fricassee. 
and I have never been able to live it down. No. Ever. No. But just to come with the spinach and I squeeze the water out. Okay. And I'm just breaking that out. Sort of like my spinach dip that you love. That I'm yes. not making for you anymore if you're going to be mean to me. Yeah, well, you're a dumb hooker, so shut your face. Uh, no, I'm a smart hooker, so <laughs> smart hookers get all the perfect. Fair. You know what I, I mean. Uh-huh. It's actually true. True. I'm sorry. I'm going to salt and pepper this up. I'm actually, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use, um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna do a, a homemade Alfredo, but I'm gonna do fried mushrooms, fried onions, and spinach, and then I'm gonna make the Alfredo with cream and butter and then cheese. It sounds really good. I love homemade Alfredo. Yeah. Love yes. it. My, I could do that. It's your sister-in-law's favorite. Is it? Yeah, yeah very much so. We'll have an Alfredo off when I come down there. See if I mine's better than yours. I'm her favorite, technically, but the Alfredo is close. I see. Now, before I mix, I'm just gonna do this all with my hands, I think. So, actually. You don't have rubber gloves that you can use from your other life? Um, I do not actually. I ran out. Where do people eat Makes okay. my job really hard. Fair. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm gonna open my. Hmm? I'm gonna open my pack of. What are these things called again? Wonton oh. Yes, I am opening mine too. I have a tray here with some parchment on it just so I can put them on there as I'm doing them. So I just took a sheet pen and threw some flour on it so they wouldn't stick. Perfect. That's okay. Yeah, perfect. I just use parchment. Same diff. So tell everyone what you do for a living, you bottom sucking parasite. I am a human resources person. <sighs> I'm the evil HR lady. I know. Hate me. Hate me. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and, and hold up your bottle of wine for everybody again? My box? <laughs> Shannon is asking what everybody is drinking, and I just wanted to see that it runs in the family. Box. <laughs> I'll put it over here. <laughs> So you're in human resources. I am. For the last, what, eight years? Yeah, a long time. <clears throat> now, the reason I said blood sucking for the people that are offended that I would say that to my sister is she was a phlebotomist before this. Or before yeah. she HR. I used to jab people for money and I loved it. Loved it. I just cracked an egg because I'm going to make a bit of an egg wash so I can seal these with it. Okay. Actually, yeah, I forgot about that. And to, to Karen, who asked what we're making, we're making we're making uh, ravioli with wonton wrappers rather than fresh pasta. But what they taste, it's just the same, honestly. And you don't have to make them in like ravioli shapes. Like we'll do a couple shapes or whatever, and you can make them as little tortellinis or little dumpling things. I mean, whatever. Can you roll little joints? Mm -hmm. Can you roll little ravioli joints? Absolutely. I tried that, but that might be fun. Are you doing egg and water or just straight egg? I put about a tablespoon of water in there just to thin it out. Got my uh, spinach leaked all over my top, my countertop here, so I have like water everywhere. Let's see, you know what? There we go. I need to let's get this. Open in the long pawn to get ready to start stuffing.
You're Just loud. One sec. I have to start my vegetables. Okay. Cutting open my wonton wrappers. Okay. And they're thin white pasta, so it's they're nice and thin and papery and flexible. Okay. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Like what the bathroom wall used to say about you in high school? Pretty much. Here. I put plastic in there. What are you chopping? Onion. Oh no, I'm gonna do that after. Because I want my onions and my mushrooms to cook down well enough so they are <clears throat> not overcooked by any stretch. Mm -hmm. I want them to be over translucent by the time I'm actually making the yeah. cool. Alfredo. What are you doing? I was that I can never find anything when I'm looking for it in my cupboard. Ever. Yeah. That's because you have teenagers. Oh, don't get me started. <clears throat> so to a pan, I'm adding a big ass onion and a whole bunch of cremini's. Well, Baby Bella, technically, because Baby Bellas are just small portobellos, so. That sounds yummy. Like <laughs> I love mushrooms. So, Karen, I use the gifts that Bryson sends me. How dare you for assuming differently? Look, we just made a little one. So are you doing two pieces, okay, on top of each other? Yeah. All right, I can do that. I just have this little spoon. Honestly, I think it came with my active fry or something, but it's like the perfect size just to put enough filling in. Okay. A million baller works good too, honestly. And I just put about, you know, very much filling in there. And then I use my impe impeccably clean hands. Sure. Into the egg wash. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Into the egg wash and just put a little egg wash on each side. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you just say egg lotion? Egg lotion. <laughs> you did not say egg lotion. <laughs> did you not say egg lotion? <laughs> just put some egg lotion on it. It's good. Egg lotion. But you got to be careful to keep the air out. So when you're pinching, okay. to get the air away from the filling. Otherwise, they will explode. And that's a little heartbreaking. And you just pinch the edges. I mean, it's fancy. You can like use a cookie cutter or something to make them round. I don't really care. So I just make them as squares. All right. And so this one. Yeah. This one sucks taint. So we're going to. <laughs> it was bad. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm gonna try this again. I'm lost. Was your onion bad? No, I, I went to. Uh... Oh, it's good actually. I put the cheese in the in the in the thingy, uh -huh. but it was like all over it rather than centralized in the center. So when I put the other thing on top, it just looked oh, like a sandwich thing and smeared out the sides. <laughs> you gotta keep it like in the middle. That's what she said. I don't need to say that. You need to tell them then. Hmm. Just saying. It's enough out of you. <laughs> like a tablespoon or so in the middle. I don't know. I'm screwed up because the river. Yeah. Put about a tablespoon of it in the center center and leave the sides clean. Okay. I'm in my egg wash. This is fun to do with the kids, honestly. Daniel and I, we set up like a station. Yeah. And do it. 
Because we use these to make like wontons for soup. Wontons are a good way to like stretch chicken noodle soup or whatever. Fair, yeah. So I make like little pork wontons. Next time I'm gonna make shrimp ones, but anyway. But these wonton wrappers are just magical. Amy like raviolis? Sorry? Does Amy like raviolis? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like this? Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. You don't want to be skimpy with the filling like you're not, but. Yeah. The last ones I made, I was a little skimpy with the filling, but I learned my lesson. How's things in New Hampshire? <clears throat> you know, things are good. Work is good. Little baby muffin man is perfect. Mm -hmm. right. Can I do this too? Absolutely. You want to learn how to make a tortellini? I'll show you. Yeah, do it. Okay. You got your square. We're going to put a little bit of filling in there, probably no more than a teaspoon. A teaspoon of the filling in there. Okay. We're going to egg wash it. Mm. And we're going to fold it into a triangle. All right, like that. And then mm. we're going to egg wash the corner and bring it down. So you have a little. That's fun, actually. Yeah. Hmm. All right. That's how I make the wonton with Daniel. So I'm getting the sense that egg wash is the key here for sticky. Um, water works too. I just find that um the egg wash works better, honestly. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. I gotta be honest, the hacker in me is like, well, how do I do this in a better way? But then the realist is in front of me saying, well, you know, people have been doing this for 500 years, Mike, right? so the issue is probably you and not <laughs> the process. It's a bit time consuming, but you know what? Sometimes I just put the putter in the kitchen. Hmm. How many have you done so far? Uh, four in a tortellini. Five in a tortellini. I'm on my six. How are you? <laughs> Not there. Well, to be fair, you are cheating. So. How did I cheat? Oh. The corgis are coming in to check me out. How many dogs do you have? I mean, I know how many dogs that you have. I have two dogs. And a lizard. Because yeah. I'm weird. She calls this gross little lizard thing my... What is he? My nephew? Or she my niece? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're gross. No. Lizards are dumb. Kermie's cool. <laughs> I'll agree that she's pretty cool. Because she's kind of dog-like. Yeah. She's so easy. She doesn't do anything. No. There's some food and water in there, and she's like, oh, I'm good. Those days she wants nothing to do with me. Well, she's like one of your teenagers. Pretty much. I gotta cut mm -hmm. them some slack. They got their first doses yesterday. They're grumpy. Yeah. But they're all done school now, which is good. Yeah, that's crazy. Is uh, mm -hmm. is the oldest going to be working? I hope so. He's actively looking for something. Yeah. But uh, we're not quite as opened up, I don't think, as you guys are. No. 
So we're still pretty restricted here. So it's been tough for those looking for jobs. Are there no coal mines? Are there no factories? No, I live in a mining town. <laughs> and even they're on strike, so. Are they? Yeah. It's no fun. Hey, <clears throat> what are you doing now? I'm still rolling these darn things. I think I'm going to make a Mongo wonton. Do it. That's the Is thing. That, Your wonton. Do what you want. I'm adding this little tiny bit of cheese, and I don't think I'm doing any of the cheese justice. <laughs> <coughs> so, you, so you're in Canada. Yeah. And you are mere minutes away from where they filmed Letter Kenny. Yes. And apparently they're filming right now. Are they? Has, um, has Jared Kiso filed a restraining order against you or no? No, not yet. Not yet? I'm pretty stealthy. <laughs> he doesn't know it's me lurking in the bushes. Wow. I can't imagine he's going to watch this right away. So, yeah. You got some time. Yeah, really? Yes. We went out and saw the filming location when you were here a couple of years ago, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was fun. Yeah, we had some fun that weekend. I gotta be honest though, it is kind of creepy driving past somebody's house and taking pictures. Yeah, it got a little weird at the end. <laughs> Definitely got a little weird. I mean, I'm fundamentally okay with it. But nice. Well, the cheese mixture is actually really good. It's been like you can use it in other things. Like, I've got some frozen in the freezer. The next time I make a lasagna, I'm going to put it in there. Yeah. yeah I could have totally cheated and just used the frozen stuff that I had on hand, but no. So, is the frozen stuff because it's easier? No, it's just I'd made a batch of this. A couple weeks ago, yeah. I have leftovers. So I don't throw it. I didn't want to throw it away. Ricotta cheese is expensive. I'm not throwing it away. Same Parmesan too, anyway. But um, so I just threw it in the freezer, and I'll just use it in something else. All right. How many of you rolled now? I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a tortellini. Yeah, come in, say hi, Dave. Come here. All right. Well, Teenager came out. Well, I so, wanted you to be busy. There's my teenager. Say hi to Mike. Hi, Uncle. How you doing, buddy? Good. Yourself? You know, your mom's kind of bugging me. If you wouldn't mind making her life a little bit difficult, that'd be super. <laughs> dinner, Mom. When are you going to be done? When are you going to be done, Mom? I want to eat. I want to eat, Mom. Come on. Come on. The boy's dude. starving, woman. Why aren't you feeding the boy? I'm feeding him, dude. He's taller than me now. No, you should be taller than you. You're tiny. Five nine. I'm not tiny. Five nine. The boy's five nine. You're not five nine because on my on my birth or on my I'm five nine. On my thing it says I'm five point eight nine. So I'm five i I'm five nine. Like, okay, well, I'm scratching the surface and if I'm taller than you, you know, that makes you like Your mother your mother's not five nine, she's five six if she's lucky. Oh my god, <laughs> no. Me. Holy, I was gonna say me. something there. Get out of my joy juice. Let the boy eat, woman. Goodness. No, He's, I'm not trying to I eat. Have I have my was, wine. No, I yeah, I was just surprised that she had the wine out. Like maybe it's not her that's annoying you at this point. <laughs> He's for sale. Dad, Dad won't let you. Okay. Hi, Trini. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I have cheesy hands, but I'm going to drink my wine. It doesn't matter. No, oh. cheesy hands. You just have to make sure you don't um, drop the glass. Yes, the box is safe. I just wanted to thank you for teaching my husband how to cook tonight. Oh, for you the are welcome. You're so welcome. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. I just wanted to say hi. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Meet me 
<laughs> See the abuse I get? Oh my god, yes, you were so abused. No. How many have you made? <sighs> this is very tedious when you have big Mongo hands. And a big Mongo mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Shut up! You're ahead of me. How did that happen? Because you're stupid. I'm the only way, but wait a minute. I'm opening more wontons because I just don't think that many is enough. Let's do. So what's your favorite thing to cook? Oh, call me crazy, but like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. Yeah, I got it. For the uh, dress bowl and but. I was just going to say for the uh, for the American folks watching in Canada, Thanksgiving and Christmas is pretty much the same meal. It's a turkey dinner. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thanksgiving is generally in October. Second, second weekend in October. Second Monday. In first October. moved to the U.S. No, third Monday. I can't remember. Third Monday in October. It's like Easter. It's never the same. I can't keep track. Yeah, second Sunday. Which is weird. You figure that Jesus could figure out when they killed him or when he rose. <laughs> right Not bring him into this. He had terrible planning. <laughs> nice. What's your favorite thing to cook? Honestly, soups and stews. Oh, I love a good soup. Oh, I mean, love. The the first thing I made on Unicorn Chef, uh -huh. um, other than I love to Bryson, mm -hmm. was um, Chonkonabe. It's what soup. is that? I, rem I remember you doing that, but what 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 is that? So it's it's sumo wrestler stew. So okay. <clears throat> Sumo wrestlers have fundamentally the same diet. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, fat, heavy... fat, and more fat? Hmm? Fat, fat, and more fat? No, you know, it's really funny. It's, you know, I, I honestly did think that, but they um, they really do consume, like, a really high-protein, high-calorie, low-fat diet. Really? Yeah, because they, they train so hard and so often that <clears throat> they're definitely putting on fat, without question. Yeah. But they're actually they're 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 putting fat on top of an extremely dense muscle. Mm. That's why they can be so massive. Oh f you guys, burnt rice! I'll burn your faces. I have a confession. What's that? I burnt rice so bad last week. I I, I thought I was gonna have to throw away the pot. <laughs> I've never burned rice in my life, ever. I was making dinner last week. I burnt the I burnt the rice. I, Killed the chicken. It was horrible. Yeah. One of those rare occasions where I was like, if you don't like it, don't eat it then. I burnt the rice. Bad. Well, it, it can happen to anyone. Tony and Shannon. Jerk faces. Jeez. See, Tony's a cool guy. He just started a coffee company. Oh, cool. What about? Nice. I think he's on the West Coast, like West Coast U.S. I love coffee. Love. Oh, I screwed this one up. <coughs> so my onions and mushrooms are beautiful, for the record. Nice. I'm going to use the onions, but just for my sauce. Like, I'm just going to do, like, a marinara sauce, basically, for them. Okay. Thank you for coming to me with Alfredo. I'm going to take a handful of spinach. Okay. Spinach is hilarious because you put it in and it's like, oh my God, it's so it's so huge, so massive. Because that's what all the chicks would say to me. But um, after they saw my stomach. <laughs> or your ego. <laughs> Oh, Amy almost wore her, her tie-dye. That would have been adorable. I love matching with her. 
Are you one of the matchy matchy couples? I know. It's funny because I would I would obviously say no, but yeah, I'm okay with it. Ken won't even wear a matching mask on me. <laughs> it's hilarious. If we're going to the store and our masks happen to match, he's like, nope. Like KN95 mask or the leather masks from your OnlyFans? Or leave my ball mask at home, thank you. Oh, fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for clarifying, Trampolina. He thinks I'm a whore, like, really. Well. <clears throat> I will tell another great sister story then. Just let me... Now I'm worried. You should be. That's the one thing about Mike. Anybody who knows Mike, you never know what's going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> Honestly. So back Weddings, back. funerals, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs. You just don't know what is going to come out of that yap. You know the difference between a wedding and a funeral? Huh. A wedding, you get to smell your own flowers. <laughs> Old Sorry. joke. Old joke for the record. So, back in the day, you know, beyond, I'm not, and I'm not throwing you under the bus, but, you know, my sister wasn't as confident as me growing up. True. That's not her fault. It's just I got the bullshit gene and she got the smart gene. I was shy. If I didn't know, I was shy. So, me and the guys from college, we would go to this bowling alley. Oh, God. And it was, you know... My cousin Kevin, who I adore, one of my best friends on the face of the earth. Hi, Miss Kevin. Yeah. Sorry. Did I miss Kevin? I haven't talked to him in years. Sorry. Continue. We would go to this bowling alley. Like we went to this bowling alley so much they just stopped charging us and they gave us free bowling balls. Like custom drilled for us. Like, here you guys can have these. <clears throat> True. So we were like it's so weird to say, but we were bowling alley royalty, if that's like a real thing. Truly. We were, were we not? Wait, well, yeah, but now I'm thinking, like, that's really not something to be proud of. Well, I mean, but it's Barry, Ontario, you know? So it's, <laughs> it was Hick like, Town, Canada, I get, yeah, I guess. You know, it's like Hick. You know, <laughs> so we're there, and I think it was, I think it was like Steve's birthday or something like that, another one of my greatest friends. And if I, Yeah, it was his birthday. Now I know where you're going with this. Yeah. So we're like, oh, you know, Trudy's going to be coming. And we called her a different name. We didn't call her Trudy. We called oh, her Rudy Toon. I'm, I'm getting a spam call. Hold on. Oh. We called her Rudy Toon. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. We called her Rudy Toon, okay. rotten, rockin' ass, fruity, dirty, gertie. But dirty gertie was her name. Gertrude is the long form of Trudy. <clears throat> so we called How her. How many Gertrude? Well, it says other people. We called her, we called her Gertie, though. Dirty Gertie. So she actually, no, before this, we didn't call you Dirty Gertie at all. This, no, it was that. So yeah. she comes in the bowling alley. So meet her up front, you know, like over on lane 25, whatever. And she does this. She's like, mm -hmm. like, the fuck is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. What is this? Mm -hmm. She opens up her mouth and she she's pierced her tongue. So her tongue is like all yeah. swollen. She's like eating ice cubes and stuff. I'm like, how much dick? So I'm like, you're insane, woman. Um, so I think I landed a husband. Just say it. Yeah, fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Karen says you sound like Homer Simpson, which is true. She was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I did. Hi, kid. What's up, baby, baby? Oh, cool. And uh, she says she's going to come up for lunch tomorrow. Grant, you've got another appointment. Okay, can I talk to you about this in a bit? Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Okay. And I just thought I'd let you know that you called me. Thanks, babe. I love you, too. Sorry. So, yeah. So, that's <clears throat> that's how my sister earned the nickname Dirty Gertie. And that, I swear, like, I mean, if, if Steve or, or Drew or Doof for anybody who walk out here right now, you'd be Dirty Gertie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I would be perpetually known as. Because it's strange to walk into that bowl. You know, they shut the bowling alley down, unfortunately. But it was weird to go to the bathroom to see my sister's phone number on all the walls. Not that 
got weird. I wish I would have had such. I would have had so much more fun. Oh. Stupid me work. How would you have more fun with a a tongue piercing a tramp? For me to know. At least I can go down the tattoo road. Which actually is somewhat out of the question. Do you just say tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. Well, then your kid likes to doodle on you. So this, no. is, the, this is the base for my Alfredo. Nice. Now, do you make that into a roux, or how do you thicken it? You know, I'm going to... I'm gonna to try to do basically a cheese sauce. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop in I'm gonna drop in a whole bunch of cream. Cool. And I'm not gonna really let that thicken per se, but I'm gonna take maybe a tablespoon, probably less of flour. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sprinkle. So it doesn't clump very far. You know, it doesn't clump as much. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add. So I want you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I'm just counting raviolis, which should, should be the name of the next hipster band. Counting raviolis. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I've got one. All right. <laughs> I have 23. So I'm going to push through and get through the whole 28. Because th these things are like a three minute cook time, right? Yeah, exactly. The sauce will take the long well, after filling the sauce will take the longest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill all these. I've got my water on sort of half simmering so it doesn't take forever to get all to get rolling boiling on me. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna make the sauce. And while the sauce is cooking, then I'll throw the tortellini out so the sauce doesn't take time. Okay? I have another kid here that wants to say hi to you. Which one? What's up, homie? That way. I am exist. My other favorite nephew, Dan Dan. Danimal. We call him Danimal. <laughs> Danny could take any toy on the face of the earth. It doesn't matter what it was, what it was made out of. It could be. It could be complete steel, cast iron, hardened steel. <laughs> and inside 15 minutes, the kid could have it broken. Every time. It's a gift. It's a talent. We actually we entered his toys into the Smithsonian. So Daniel has started taking up cooking, I should tell you. Really? Maybe one of these days he could do this with you. <clears throat> you were into robotics too for quite a while, weren't you, kiddo? Yeah. Still interested in that. Sadly, everything shut down when COVID hit as yeah. far as extracurriculars go, but I'm hoping you can get back into it in the fall. Probably not. I'm hoping. Probably not. Mm -hmm. You're adding your cream to your mushrooms and your onions? Yeah, so I've added a bunch of cream. Okay. Right. And a bunch of milk. Okay. And then I'm just going to use water to thin if I need to. Oh, your brother was already out here judging me for the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody out there got kids that just like judge them for their drinking? <laughs> so that they do taste better. I know it doesn't, but I'm you trying. Are judged because they're an alcoholic. <laughs> <gasps> he's so dead to me now. <laughs> Haven't I always been? Yeah, he's been making breakfast every morning. So he makes himself like bacon and eggs. Really? Yep. What's yep. your favorite thing to cook, bud? What's your favorite thing to cook? I, I don't know. No. We get those like chef's That's plate, hello fresh. I don't know if I can. Mm. But yeah, we get those meal boxes and uh, with the instructions, he can put them together. If I could make a suggestion, buddy, just cook omelets. That's the, the key to cooking is omelets. Everything in temperature control. <clears throat> 
texture, timing, yep. additioning. Oh, Karen wants to know, Danny, what's your favorite thing to eat? Uh, good question. Pizza? No. No. Mac and cheese. I know you're a huge mac and cheese fan. No, that's David. That's, yeah, mm -hmm. David loves my baked mac and cheese. Oh, it's those Montana ribs. Those are amazing. Ooh. Nothing I cook, it's Montana's ribs. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Montana's is good. Montana's is a restaurant chain up in Canada that does quite a bit of like meat and barbecue kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to do barbecue? Like Buddy, barbecue. Barbecue is the easiest thing on the face of the earth. All you need is 250 degrees in 10 hours and you're good. Yeah. And he likes spicy food. I do not like spicy food, really? but this kid will eat. But yeah. He likes spicy food. Half the time I can't even tell there's spice. Yeah, you can. Kind of scary. Yes, he likes the spicy food. You can taste spice in anything. I bet you find spice in, in milk. That's the weird part. I swear to God. Oh, you, know, you got a common hair loving your stormtrooper shirt, Danny. Mm. Mm. Goes with my stormtrooper. No, that's California Republic. But I have a stormtrooper salt shaker. Oh, maybe that's what she's talking about. Yeah. Shaker. She had a oh, I have a Darth Vader pepper here, too. I live with geeks. <laughs> I think you bought it. And them. my Yoda necklace. Yoda's awesome. just a booger that lived. Oh, I was trying to figure out why I had one left over. It's because I made one tortellini. I'm going to make another tortellini. Because I just went through all my wonton wrappers. Okay. Hmm. Do you remember how we did this when we made the wontons for the soup? Mm, bar barreling. Yeah, no, you do that and then you pinch the sides. And, and then we fold it in a quarter. Yeah. And then right? we bring those up and you know, then. the air out. Yeah. And then we put a little bit more egg wash on the corner and we yeah. fold them down. I make a cute little tortellini thing. I might know. Well, I'll get it. <laughs> I'm literally I'll looking at my tortellinis this. again. Just I to just make sure that there's no. No air pockets. Yep. Because you told no me that this is going to get loud for one second. I just got to wash my gooey hands. Okay. Yeah. You should wash your dirty face while you're at it. You wash your dirty mouth. Fair. I'm not touching you. That. And I have a, uh, I think I have like an upper level of difficulty here because I have got two speed bumps is my dogs okay. rolling on the floor between me and the stove. I'm actually not quite sure that that's a good excuse. So if I trip on my, so see, I have a lot of corgis. So I'm hoping this is okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I took all the leftover ravioli ravioli filling yeah and i i dropped it into my mixture that's a great idea i have a little bit left over i might do that into my sauce i'm actually going to i have my water sort of simmering here for these mm -hmm. but i'm going to get my frying pan going because i'm going to make the sauce in a pan instead of a pot anyway okay. i'm just going to get my pan getting heating up with some extra virgin olive oil did I tell you what Daniel said? He asked me how virgin olive oil gets to be virgin. <laughs> I kind of don't even really want to know. I got to be honest. But yeah, go ahead. So we're sitting watching the Food Network, and I can't remember what, but anyways. And so the chef on Food Network is going to use virgin olive oil for the dish. And he said, well, how does virgin olive oil get to be virgin? And I said, you know what, buddy? I, think, I have no idea. He said, is it because the farmers don't touch the plant? Dude. I think that has something to do with it. Dude. Yes. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Turn this. I'm going to be a little sideways for a second. We just have a frying pan going. Takes a bit to heat up, so it'll give me some time to cut up my onions and garlic and stuff. <clears throat> okay. Because I'm just going to make a simple marinara. 
So when you say simple marinara, what are you, what are you doing? I want to chop an onion. Okay. And saute that until they're, you know, sweated and soft. And then I'm going to use, I'm not actually even going to chop garlic. I use pre-chopped garlic to make my life easier. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put those out and then throw in a tin of crushed tomatoes. Yeah. And some basil and oregano and salt and pepper. And just basic. Maybe basic. a little bit of sugar to take the acidity out of the tomatoes. Fair. But so basic like you? Are you saying I'm acidic? Or sweet? <laughs> Neither. Choose your answer wisely. I am wielding a weapon. See. How's your thumb, by the way? It's healing. I have, yeah. I have my feeling back at the end of my thumb, which is nice. Oh my god! <laughs> nice. I should I should have probably got a couple stitches, but Mike has always been obsessed with knives. Like he used to go to our basement. <laughs> we had a coffee table down there. Remember? <laughs> he flipped mm -hmm. it up on it so it was like leaning against a wall, and he would chuck knives into it. And you'd hear upstairs, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom. Like his knives into the coffee table. <laughs> That's kind of transposed its way over here <laughs> in the later in life. Too? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have my little handheld crossbow. I think Amy needs a safe word. I need to talk to her so that if she needs to like get away, you throw weapons. That's fair. I have a feeling she's still watching, so she may be jumping in here in a couple seconds to say, save me. You never know. Oh my god. So I just, I just put a ravioli in my water to test the cook time. Okay. I am just cutting up my onion and I'm cutting it really small because my family doesn't like big chunks of onion and stuff. Okay. But you can whatever your family or whatever you like. Okay. So my guys, I mean they like chili, but they don't like to see the green peppers and they don't like to see the onions. So I have to pour everything very small. Okay. So is this this base sauce is normally what like a five minute sauce? Is it that easy? Yeah. Basically. Wow. Yeah, I'll let it reduce a little bit so you know it'll take five or six minutes, but hold on, I'm going to put this in the frying pan and jack up my water. Mmm. Fresh onion is so good. Hmm? Oh, yeah. yeah, I just ate a piece of onion. It's delicious. I love fried onions. Love them. I don't like raw onions. Hate raw onions, but really? Oh, mm. cooked onions? Absolutely. Mm. I can't remember if I salted my water, and I'm afraid to salt it again. So I'm gonna go taste my water. <laughs> well, you don't want to get arrested by the salt police. That's the worst thing on the face of the earth. <laughs> It tastes like the ocean. And yeah, Shan, definitely. I've been, I've been throwing knives a long time. Long time. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, he missed me every time. Oh, it's not from lack of trying. It's just I've never gotten good at it. I am just quick like that. Quick like a bunny. Quick. I did not salt my water, so I just did. And it is coming up to a boil, so I'm going to go and put my onions okay. in the pan again. <clears throat> so my sauce is ridiculous, for the record. Okay. So I love the, it. That's the spoon. That's the spoon dip, not a scoop. Cool. Oh, it's so good. Mushroomy. Nice. Salty, peppery. Those were all my nicknames back in college. I don't even know how you remember any of those years, to be honest. <laughs> how dare you throw me under the bus like that? 
You flaming trash panda. So this is a test of the wonton wrapper. Because I wasn't skeptical. I know you know better when it comes to cooking. I do yield that I learned to cook quite a bit of things from you. So shut your face. Okay, yeah, that's good. See? Yeah, that's really good. Such a cool show. Really, really good. The boiled wonton wrapper truly, truly has a pasta texture, probably a little bit slipperier, slipperier mm -hmm. than regular pasta, but definitely the same chew. Definitely the same chew. Yeah, that's quite good. That's why I like it, because, I mean, they're just... They're so easy. I mean, so we need to get nothing fancy here. We mixed up, mixed up belly and stuff some wontons. Yeah. So you need to give me the three minute warning to put my pasta down. Okay. Because <clears throat> I mean, I'm not ready. Don't get me wrong, but I'm still continuing to stir and season because it does need a little bit of pepper. Huh. I'm just getting my onions sweated out here. Mm -hmm. What are you missing? Open my tomatoes. So the ravioli cook time um, in the water was maybe two minutes. Right on. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> My water is on a very slow boil. Mm -hmm. It's not on a heavy boil at all. But yeah, it took very little time. Right on. See, like, that's why I like these. And the time it would take me to cook a steak or roast a chicken or something, I can do these. But I mean, it's a little more labor intensive, albeit, but... Sometimes I just put some loud music, a glass of wine, and just leave me alone in the kitchen. To drink your disgusting boxed wine. Actually, not bad. <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw my tomatoes in. Okay. My onions are just about brown. Mm. Yeah, raw, raw wonton wrappers, not good. Gonna add a bit of water to that. Just to thin out, or? Well, I'm gonna thin it out, but I wanna get everything out of the bottom of the can, too. Okay. And uh, I'll thin it out a bit, but then I'm going to reduce it a bit. So I'm going to work out and wash. I had to lower my heat. I had it way too high. <laughs> Are you afraid you're going to start a fire? Well, I had to get a new stove because my stove crapped out. And I'm still getting used to the settings on this one. Because for some reason, they're very different and they're tempered. I guess the new stove gets much hotter. Mm -hmm. I'm starting some oregano and basil. You can do it to taste. I like more oregano than basil. So that's okay. good. So I use maybe half the amount of basil to oregano. So is there such thing as too much basil or is there just 
basil. Oh, I like basil. I just um, I find it gets a little overpowering. Oh my god, they're so cute. Is it adorable? Thank you. I've given I've given Amy a ramekin. Has he been good, Trudy? I gave him specific instructions to okay. not be able to you. He's been very, very good. Oh my god. That's amazing. I'll just have a bowl of the sauce. Just the sauce. The sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Is it creamy? Oh, he did such a good job. Oh, awesome. Is it too much or? No, it's perfect. It's super rich too. Yeah. I mean, then like the best possible. <laughs> because I'm not rich. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I almost wore my, uh, my tie dye too. You should have. Did you tell people where you got it? Because it works, apparently. You can tell them. Well, I didn't know that we're like that family that does themed Christmas cards, but apparently we are. Uh, it, because it's awesome, for mm -hmm. the record. You know what? I never did that. Where are you? I never did that, and I regret it. So um, we it feels a little lame, especially when you're taking the picture, but I would be lying if I said we didn't already pick out next year's. <laughs> Do you think I could get my teenagers to pose in like matching up? <laughs> I don't think so. Way too mean. Oh no! Should I divulge what our next theme is going to be? Yeah. yeah. Country Western. We already have. So Mike went on a business trip to Texas. So we already have the cowboy boots. Yeah. And Sean's going to have a big belt buckle. And no. I'm have a cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be excellent and tacky. And I'm going to love it. I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, this is fabulous. So cool. It's absolutely amazing. Mm. I feel like I'm back in Canada in your sister's kitchen while she made us dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and the dinner sucked. Mm -hmm. the, the steaks we had at camp are really good. Are they? When you guys were here, we picked up those big T bone steaks, remember? Mm, true. They were good. Amazing. Thank you. I can't wait to eat the full meal. Bye, Trudy. Bye, honey. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Tony says I'm in Texas. Well, that doesn't mean we're going to make out, Tony, but if we could. I'm okay with that. Just not a lot of time. So, how's your sauce? Are we getting ready to put this um, ravioli? Yeah, my sauce is simmering. So, I'm going to throw my wontons in, my ravioli, <laughs> all of them. That's my tray. I don't know if you can see it. They're gonna slide right off. That was almost a disaster. There's mine. All right. All right, in they go. So my water is on a slow boil, but putting this stuff in is gonna change the temperature. Yeah. So I yanked it way up the second I hit it. That's what I did too, because the temperature obviously drops when you put them in. You're just gonna want to sort of nudge them around so that they don't stick on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So funny trying to trying to be nice and not drop in a ton of flour. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like on a weekend or something, and then freeze them on a tray, throw them in a Ziploc, and just have them throughout the week. That's what I do when I make wontons for soup. I'll make a huge batch of them, and then freeze them, and then Ziploc them. Fair. Spot a spoon, and I'm going to stir gently. Yeah, I was going to say, do not be vigorous. You tear them. No. I'm just going to make sure they're going to stick to the bottom. Golden here. I'm just gonna let those cook. I'm gonna throw a bit of sugar in my sauce. I don't care about the tomato acidity, but my family doesn't like it. Okay. 
We're gonna throw just a pinch of sugar in there just to break that up. All right, so my sauce is completely off. Cool. I haven't done any tasting yet except for water, so I will taste my sauce. Okay. Don't burn my mouth. It's nice. Be perfect. Oh, you know, I one thing. So doing this like must expose you to like a whole bunch of recipes you never would have tried before. You know, Bryson's been doing this I think for like sixty four weeks. Okay. For a long, long time. <clears throat> so I know for certain like, the amount of stuff that he's been cooking, I think his intention is to take um, the recipes, put them into a cookbook, and then try to try to sell and market that cookbook as a charity. That's a great idea. Yeah. But he does it. I mean, the, the dude's a trooper. He does it every week. Every single yeah. week. Yeah. Do you have any idea how he came up with the ideas? Say again? Any idea how he came up with the idea? No, he's kind of a <clears throat> he's kind of an out there, you know, an out there kind of thinker, not in a bad way, but more like a broad spectrum kind of thing. And yeah. I think his perspective was, you know, food brings everybody together. And it was True. just, you know, a good media. It's it's it is good for him because you know, I'm sure before <clears throat> he's told me before that I'm far better of a chef than he will ever be. But he's he's had the You're ability. So humble. You are so humble. It's just heart melting. What's that song? Oh Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. I guess. <laughs> Grandma used to sing that song all the time. But um Yeah. But no, I think he's, you know, had the ability to cook, you know, a different meal once a week, you know. Everything mm -hmm. turns into kind of like structure, you know, and Monday is pork and Tuesday is chicken and Wednesday is salad and Thursday is, you know, Pizza. Having that, <laughs> you know, having that one Wednesday where, you know, it could be shakshuka or it could be chonkonabe or it could be chicken and rice or it could be tacos or, you know, yeah. you know, he's very lucky in that regard. You know, yeah. you know that luck, you know, pertains to a, a lot of, you know, dedication that you know, he has. So I'm not sitting here kissing his butt, you know, but I'm kind of kissing his butt because he does a good job. Definitely. You ready to play? I'm just about ready. I'm just going to grab a bowl, actually. I forgot. So I'm, I'm not going to drain these. Of the pasta water cool. because granted my sauce is very thick i do want some pasta water to stick to it oh and we have an explosion already oh did you lose one there's yeah. always one goodness and if you put apple pie filling in these things and deep fry them and dip them in caramel <laughs> just saying well that sounds healthy and delicious yeah. What are you looking for? I'm going to put some in the bowl for me. I'm just taking them right from the water and into the bowl. Okay. So that's them without sauce, and I'm just going to go throw some sauce on them. Well, that's good. I don't care what anybody says. So I got some of that. And I'm going to pop a little bit of parsley. Okay. So I've got a little bit of fresh, a little bit of fresh basil. Oh, that's even better. I should have bought basil. Put some of that in there. I'm 
some of that extra cheese that I grated. Bada bing. So we have to stand by the picture, show our show our things and smile. Bryce and okay, the a towel. It's hard to find that angle. I know. <laughs> cool. There we go. And then the taste. You know, it's weird too because I've I've not been tasting it the entire time, but I've definitely been kind of figuring out where stuff is. Mm-hmm. Gooey. Oh, that's stupid good. Sorry, one bite. Mm. It's like mm. nuclear hot. Mm. Hot. Yeah, all right. And that, bro, that's how you do it. Oh. <clears throat> so, Judy LaMontagne. Iron, or sorry, Unicorn Chef Extraordinaire. You want to kind of tell us who your charity is one more time? Yep, one more time. Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto, Canada. www.sickkids.ca They are fundraising to build a state-of-the-art new hospital. The one that's there is ancient, but they do really good work. And so they are fundraising to, to build a new hospital. You can go to their website and donate monthly, or you can go in and do a one-time only donation if you wish. So, Or mm -hmm. local children's hospital, whatever. Whatever works. Uh, for me, donate your time, donate your money, donate your love to your local SPCA. Animals need us. We need them. So be as good as you can. And as always, if you've made this meal, by all means, tag your social media with hashtag Unicorn Chef. And we will see you next week. I think Bryce is going to be back next week. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Bye.